opening a hive is like, I mean, opening a hive is really what it sounds like. You're opening a box into a colony of creatures, a colony of working, living beings. It's like you're a giant opening an office tower. Bees are such an extraordinary insect, known by most beekeepers as flying Swiss army knives because they have a lot of hooks and doodads on them used for collecting pollen and maintaining their hive. Honeybees are honestly quite adorable if you look at them up close. They're super fuzzy and uh, it's fascinating to watch a bee fly from one flower to another. And it's incredible that you can literally form a relationship with your bees because bees have the ability to recognize human faces. You can literally bond with a hive because it knows who you are. And opening your hives often with care and being gentle, you will form a relationship where your bees will not even bat an eye when you open their hive. And it's an amazing thing. It's like a total connection with nature. So, what we're seeing here is nurse bees hard at work maintaining the larva. If you look closely, you can actually see these young, freshly hatched larvae in these cells, the little white dots. And uh, the capped over pieces are the larvae that are almost ready to mature and, com and come out of the cells as full-grown bees, ready to work. All right, the smoker, all that does is it doesn't harm the bees. It just makes it so they can't use their antennas to communicate with each other because they have a certain smell that they emit when their beehive is under attack to warn other bees that they're under attack. And that's when they go into attack mode and start stinging you. By smoking the top of the beehive, the bees tend to move to the bottom boxes, making it easier to extract just pure honey instead of bee parts with honey. You will always get some bees in there as well though, but you can always filter that out. Try to get the least amount of casualties as I can. As you see here, this is a beautiful rack. All of this capped over honey is ready to be eaten. You could eat it right now if you wanted to. There's no processing required. Right here, you can see that this honey isn't exactly finished, but uh, this part of the honey that is not ready can be taken soon. And uh, this stuff can be extracted right away, which is what we're doing today. A lot of people don't know that bees actually eat their own honey. It's actually a main food source for them. And when you see these guys up close, you can really tell that they love this stuff because, I mean, they, they'll wrestle with each other and push each other out of the way to get to it. Bees from the other side of the hive will smell broken comb and smell the honey and will come from the other side of the hive just to lap it all up with their little proboscis. It's actually quite fascinating to watch up close. After investing $15,000 into my beekeeping business, uh, I find out that I'm actually allergic to honeybees. And uh, out of a scale of one to six, six meaning death, one meaning you're all right, you just kind of itch, I'm on a three. So we're okay, but getting dangerous. So I have to hold an EpiPen with me at all times when I'm around the bees. Thankfully, it'll go right through my bee suit. So that's nice. But uh, I get stung all the time and I swell up like a balloon. So there's a lot of money that goes into, you know, setting this up and beekeeping in general. Most of my money goes towards beekeeping. The main issue with profit is the fact that I have to keep recurring customers. That's kind of the, the hardest part. My only source of income is really friends and family right now, which are thankfully very loyal and support me. Um, having money lets me keep doing what I love to do.
And it sounds kind of cliche, but I mean, it's a real thing. I love beekeeping and it's, I mean, it's hard to explain, but there's nothing more that brings me joy or passion. And it's just, it's amazing that I can have a job producing bottles of honey. Bees are one of the most sanitary animals, even though their hive looks dirty, because honey itself is a natural antiseptic, which means it kills most bacteria. These are just cappings of honeycomb, so you could just scrape these off, actually, and that's how we actually get to the honey. So what I usually do is I just lightly scrape it a few times and it just kind of comes off. You just want to open up the comb, basically, without destroying it underneath because 90% of a bee's work is building comb for the hive. And so you don't want to destroy that or they're just going to take a long time to rebuild. It's better if you just put this frame back in the hive and they can reuse it instantly. And during a good honey flow, they can fill a frame up in, I mean, less than a day, maybe a couple hours. Cascade. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind? I gotta get this little square that you're on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you're almost there. Just fly. Just fly away. There you are. You're not trying to sting me, are you? Last one. Okay. completely empty. Sarasota County Fair comes once a year. Incredible opportunity for me as a beekeeper. There are no other vendors there selling honey as well, so pretty big deal. Sarasota is a honey city in the way that Everyone here eats honey. There's a lot of honey consumption here. Uh, I compare people to bears more than humans sometimes for the amount of honey they eat, including myself. I'm nervous, but I'm very excited because I've never done a vending thing before. So this is, this is a big deal for me. I have a lot of people helping me, thankfully. This is really a big stepping stone to expanding my business and getting out there. But if I miss this step, I can't go to the next one. I'm investing a lot into this and I really need it to pay off. And that's, that's what makes me nervous about this, but at the same time excited. Give this one in, figure out what these. Now, Ryan, where are you going to put this? So you don't have a lot of space here. We probably should have had another table, which might have been helpful. We're getting out. We need some tape. What kind of tape? How uh, are you getting out? I don't know. I thought there were probably the holes on the side. When you lift this up, there's like these small openings, I guess. I was like, so what is that, that? That's the spot. <laughs> So this is an observation hive. As you can see, you can observe the bees. And uh, so apparently there's like this little crack. I guess the frame I used was too tall. So it was pushing the top up. So there was a little space in each corner that the bees were getting out of and two escaped. This is like a different planet when it comes to financials. Like there's going to be so many people there and I'm, I mean, I'm pretty guaranteed to make a lot of sales today. Step right up, local honey. <laughs> honey, I'm home. Local honey. With an L, a capital L for local honey. I was super impressed with what we had done. 
I think everyone around us also was very interested and a lot of vendors who were setting up even stopped to look at the bees. This is going to open up a lot of opportunities for me. And just as I think that, and just as the fair opens, we hear from one of the vendors that there's a possibility the fair might be shutting down due to the coronavirus outbreak. Hearing that rumor brought a lot of anxiety in the initial portion. $500 investment and then setting up all of this and buying all the stuff I needed, they're just gonna go to waste, you know? There's already things passed not to allow more than 250 people in a public place at once. The fair is not part of Sarasota County, so it was kind of a loophole in a way, but there was still rumor going around that some way it would be shut down. The security was actually kicking people out of the fair until we had further notice about the virus and if we really were being shut down. Not even 30 minutes later, the president goes on TV and declares national emergency. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Soon after, I was handed a piece of paper that officially said the fair was officially closing down and it wasn't going to be rescheduled. And that's when we all knew it was, I mean, this was over. It was done. We, all the effort we put in was, I mean, it was for nothing. It was over. It was a big shame seeing these vendors pack up because I know a lot of them had spent several days setting up their booth. And I know everyone there was banking on, you know, this cash income. These people dedicated this time that the fair was open, these 10 days, to the fair and nothing else. Really, really sad. They've already closed my next show down too in Clay County. Supposed to do that too. What's that? Clay County. Yeah, that's, yeah. All my shows for the next eight weeks. Yeah. And this, I was banking on this too. This is the, you know, the start of my career. History is being written right now. I don't know what I'm going to do, and I'm sure no one else does as well. I don't have a plan B. In the beginning, I did not see beekeeping as a career path I would have chosen. And so years went by where I actually kind of neglected my hives and they weren't doing very well. And so something just sparked me to actually get back in there and help them and see what's wrong with their hive. It really reignited my love for beekeeping. And being older, I could really see the beauty in beekeeping and the beauty in animals and the beauty in honey and the beauty in bees. And it was just such an almost awakening moment for me that I wanted to do this. And I wanted to do this big scale for the rest of my life. And then I just freaking love bees. I, I love bees so much and they're freaking, <laughs> they're so adorable. I mean, who couldn't? <laughs> I, um, this is, uh, this is the career path I want to take, is beekeeping. They're wonderful creatures because, I mean, they create this magical substance called honey, and honey is like an elixir of life. It, I mean, honey is, amazing for your immune system and your allergies and it tastes absolutely incredible. Eating honey gives you immunity to the flowers and the pollen and the nectar in the area and that's why local honey is better because it's your local area what you are going to be in contact with. I mean, doing this, it gives me a real sense of 
I'm actually doing something and maybe not something for, not something as in like work-wise, but something as in I'm helping the world in a way. It might be small and I might only have a hundred hives, but I'm doing something that I can. Because a lot of, I mean, a lot of my life I felt very disconnected with nature and I felt like I had not done what I should to this planet and I've not cared for it as much as I want to. Bees are essential for almost all pollination and that includes our agriculture, which is all of our food. We need grain to feed cows and pigs and chickens and all the animals and you need pollination for those things to happen. And orange groves in Sarasota rely on beekeeping. There, if you go to any orange grove, you will see beehives in there. If bees went extinct, you will notice that your grocery store is not as packed as it was with nutrients for you. And that goes for everything. Meat, cereal, milk, eggs, and of course, produce. Finally finding something that's so unique to me that I love so much that actually helps the environment and helps the people around us. And it helps our community live. Mix and Fruit Farms is a local grocery store and farm, and they support local businesses, and most of their stuff in stores is from local small businesses. They've been around for 80 years. They're basically the go-to place for citrus in the local area. So tell me about your process. Tell me about how you got started. Okay. Spill, spill the tea. Me and my dad, uh, we started when I was 14, and uh, Basically it started, I just saw it online and thought it was an interesting thing and I was like, I think bees are a very interesting animal and the fact that they make a food for us is really interesting that we could just harvest it easily too. And uh, we started in my backyard with only two hives and we grew to three and then we went to a beekeepers association. We put a $15,000 investment on 105 beehives or 100 hives and uh, yeah, that's where we are now and uh, we've, it's been a, it's been about probably about eight months since I've, that's happened and that's awesome. I've learned a lot as well. So do you guys produce enough to do honey jars where we could sell the honey in our store? Probably yeah. Okay. I have, we, I mean seven. we have seven five gallon buckets and then one uh, 35 gallon drum that's just filled with honey that I cannot get rid of. Okay. Like, so much and we have too. so, we have uh, hundreds of jars in our garage. Okay. Like that we have been, we actually filled a few hundred yesterday and oh, labeled awesome. them and everything. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. Look at We'd that. We'd like you to have that, by the way. <gasps> Rise Hive. I love it. Straight from the hive. I love it. So this would be something we would sell in our store. Mm -hmm. This would be really cool. So if you can get me price points on what our cost would be, and then um, I'll take this to the owner, obviously, given the state of everything at the moment. Um, but yeah. Next, we stopped at the front of the store and we went actually into the grocery store. And uh, I got to see all sorts of local businesses they're supporting, from hot sauce to saltwater taffy to wines. And we got to try their delicious orange juice and grapefruit juice. And they have a wonderful lemonade as well. We were brought to one of the shelves and there was local honey right there. And uh, it was very welcoming because it was like, hey, we could fit right in here. And it's a great business opportunity for us. This is my first real business deal, and I'm happy that it went so perfectly. It's a really great feeling to have this freshness of knowing this is going to be okay, and this is all gonna work. It's a very, it's a triumph, you know? I, I'm, that's a good way to put it, I guess.